Hello and welcome to the 6th Inventory Pro tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to set up visual item equipment, so to give you a quick peek of what we'll be creating when we pick up some items, like swords or daggers, shields, whatever. When we equip them, we want to show them on our model. When I equip a dagger, it might be on the left hand, it might be a bit hard to see, and if I switch to the right, it will actually move to the right hand. And we also have shields, what not. So uh, let's let's get started. So first go to our scene. Um, and the first thing we have to do, assuming you follow tutorial number three where we actually set up the uh, character. Um, so let's just check if that's all set up correctly. So in our equip editor we have the equip type editor and here we set up all the possible equip positions um, and later we associated those positions inside of our character window. So, as you might remember, we have the head, and inside of the head, we can get rid of that. Inside of the head, we can equip the head type objects. So, if we go to a specific item, for example, the helmet, which has the equip position head, which we gather from the equip type editor. So, all the types are specified here. An item is given an equip type, and once the user equips it, it is equipped to the slot inside of our character window. Okay, so we've got that all set up, and now we actually want to visually equip the item. So let's just start by creating the possible equip positions on our character, and then creating some items to actually equip them. So if we go to our character, we see that inside of our inventory player, we now have a list called equipment binding. And what this does is equip the, uh, the type to the actual proper location to, to show it. So first thing first, it's pretty safe to click Force Rescan, although you don't really have to. It simply grabs all of the items that it's getting from the associated character UI. So if this one's not set, so assuming it's set to none, you'll get a warning that it won't be able to show all the items, because since version 2.1.3 you can actually have multiple characters, uh, and therefore equip, to multiple, uh, equip items to multiple different characters. So you have to set the uh, character UI to the player. So let's grab that. As you can see, it scans all the items that we have inside of our window. Um, and then we can associate a specific type. So for example, we have boots here. Or let's go with the left hand. We, wanna, might, we might want to show a dagger or a shield. And in the right hand, we probably want to show a sword. So our sword is going to be equipped to this equip transform. And we can either choose between make child, which um, places the object inside of, let's say, the hand. So if we place the hand transform here, it will make the sword or the visual item you're trying to equip a child of the object we selected here. If you choose replace, it will actually literally replace the object. So if you have clothing that actually overlaps the uh, the body, you might want to use replace to replace the body so you don't have two meshes on top of each other. All right, so first let's um, go into our Ethan model here. And go to the right arm and make sure we create a new equip to object I actually already created one but you could just let's just move for a second so first you just create right click and then you create a new empty game object and you position it where you like it and as a standard or well it doesn't really have to but as a good guideline you could use the blue um, arrow blue vector to position it the way you want the model to be shown by default. So let's say you want the weapon to, or the sword to, go forward from here. We can do it like this, so it's roughly positioned in the hand. We can position it more precisely in a bit per model, but uh, this is just for all of the models globally. Alright, so we created the, uh, the equip position for the right hand, so let's just give it a easy name. Now let's do the same one for the left one real quick. So I already created it, so it's the exact same way. Just make sure you create it there. Let's make sure this is roughly the same as on the other side. Okay. Then we're going to our uh, character. Uh, no, of course. And then we want to set the uh, the two objects we just created here so this one is for the 
left hand and this one is to the right hand. And the moment you set them you'll notice the icon here, the little eye becomes visible. This means that the object will actually be shown inside of this position. And the other ones will simply be ignored. Okay, so let's create some items that we can actually equip because all we have now are cubes, so let's just create some. So if we go to our main editor, I'm just going to create a new item. And let's go with an equipable item. And we can actually, well, let's just go here for a sec. I've included some, uh, some models that you can use. They're not great, but they'll do for a demo. So inside of our um, inventory system, demos, assets, models, we've got an equip items folder. And in there, we've got some sword, shields, daggers, that sort of thing. So let's just, that's really not smart. Okay, there we go. Let's just drag one in, select the dagger, hit create item. It will create a new uh, object from the dagger model. So let's call it dagger. Give it an item I can see. And I want to equip it to the, let's see, dagger uh, type. And the dagger type is inside of our character window. We have the left hand. We can equip the dagger and we can also equip it in our right hand. So we associated these types inside of a character UI here. All right, so we want to equip it visually. Uh, you can disable this if you want to override the default behavior. Uh, now we can click position now. And when we do that, it will actually load the model onto our main character. And as you can see, we can now rotate it and position it the way we like to show it. So we want to, it's a pretty big dagger, but well. All right, we want to show it roughly something like this. And once you're done positioning, you go back and you see this large green button, save state, you simply click it. And it now saves the position and the rotation the way we just set it. Uh, so when we equip it in-game, it will actually look like this. Okay. Um, so we can give it some stats. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's create another item real quick. Go to shields. And we equip this to the shields, obviously, position it. All right, and hit save state again. All right, so let's try it out. So I'm just gonna click the little eye here, which will actually select the object inside of my um, editor, my uh, project folder. So we could just drag it out into the world like any other object. By default, the, uh, the object does not have a collider or a um, rigid body. Um, I might change this in the future, so don't be surprised if there's actually one on here. Um, so what we might want to do is add a box collider to the shield. And maybe also a rigid body, so it'll actually fall in the world. And same goes for dagger. Dragon the dagger. Good, let's try it out. Okay, open my inventory. Click the item. And as you can see, it actually equips to my right hand. And if I do another one, it equips to the left hand. 
can even swap them. All works just like that. Let's test the shields. And it also works just fine. Alright, that's about it for this tutorial. And I think this is actually the last tutorial of the Getting Start uh, tutorial series. But I'll, uh, I'll make more tutorials in the near future. So uh, stay tuned. Cheers.